Uh, what is prefixes? Now the prefixes are the preceding factors used to represent uh, very small or very large physical quantities in SI units. For example, sir, if we write 20 km, uh, this 20, we call it the magnitudes of the quantity. Yeah? How big or how small the quantity is, is called the magnitude. So this is the magnitude. And uh, this meter is called a unit. Okay, now this one in front of the units, uh, this is called the preceding factors. Uh, this is called the prefix. This is a pre prefix. Uh, and it's used to represent a very small and a very large number. And this is kilo. Uh, you have learned this before again. And then uh, we have learned that uh, kilo uh, okay, represents 1,000. So 20 kilo means 20,000. Uh, this is the prefix. This is a prefix that you need to know in SVM. Eh? Tera, giga, mega, kilo, deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, pico. Okay. So that is what you need to know in SVM. But if you really, really can't memorize this, then you memorize the six prefixes. Mega, kilo, deci, centi, milli, micro. Why? Because tera, giga, and nano, and pico seldom come out. I can't guarantee that it won't come out. Maybe it will come out, but uh, it seldom come out. But mega, kilo, deci, centi, this is very important. Why? Because uh, these are the prefixes that we uh, always use and uh, maybe use in other, other topics as well, other chapters as well. Okay, so if you don't know this, then you are going to have problems. So make sure that you memorize this. Uh, mega, kilo, deci, centi, milli, and micro. If this is still too difficult for you, still cannot memorize, then, okay, we still have another solution, sir. You buy this calculator. Okay, yes. You see this calculator, you have this TGM here, right? Okay, tera, giga, mega, kilo, milli, micro, nano, pico, and fento. Fento is not important, huh? it's not in our syllabus. Uh, if you have these calculators, then you don't need to memorize. But one thing that you need to know, uh, one thing that you need to know is uh, inside these calculators, there is no deci and centi. Okay, so still, if you have these calculators, you still need to memorize deci and centi. If you still can't memorize deci and centi, uh, then I'm going to teach you another way which uh, I'll, I'll record another video lessons to teach you how to use the calculators uh, as I told you just now. So inside that lessons, how to use uh, this FX570 MS calculator, I will teach you how to store these two numbers, deci and centi, how to store these two numbers inside your calculator so that you don't even need to memorize these two numbers. Okay, but I'm not going to discuss it now. Okay. I'm going to upload this video uh, maybe end of this week.